Hi everyone. I hope you're doing very well. Happy Tuesday. Today I want to share something really important, and it is called concentrated. Stay concentrated means stay focused. And、um, I want to ask you: Do you have a moment that when you want to do something, but you end up feeling like you got nothing done? And why there are times that you want to get something done, but you always got distracted. And do you also have a moment that you feel you're so busy but not productive? And that is why I want to remind you today: we must stay concentrated and stay focused. In my life and my story, I am not just a business owner. I'm a mom and wife, daughter, and of course, I'm an author as well. I have so many things that I have to finish and do every single day. How can I achieve my goals? And one of the main reasons, which when I look back, is because I always stay concentrated and stay focused. Today, I want to share three tips that can help you to stay concentrated. And the first thing is, I got my notes with me. The first tip is to set up your priorities. For example, if you have twenty, thirty, hundred things to do in a day, don't put them all and start to do all of them because it's not possible for you to finish everything in one day. The best thing what I do and that worked really well is always highlight three main things in the day that you have to achieve, so that you have a very clear,、um, smaller amount of goals that you need to tick and you need to do. And the second thing is also very important, and that is、um, avoid the distractions. The distractions is very、uh, are happening very easily in your life. For example, if you want lose weight, you're not going to put all the snacks and the things that is attracting you and distracting you all the time because you will definitely fail. So the best thing is get rid of the snacks and make an amazing environment that is ready for you to achieve your goals. And another example is I have my children; they always put the toys into their rooms, and it's very messy. That's one thing. Another thing is, this very distracting when they want to go to sleep, or if when they go study, they will be distracted by the toys, and which is why I'm very, very、um, strongly insisting them to put their toys to the toy room so that it won't be distracted to what they're doing, what they should be doing. And、um, the other very important example, which I.、Um, Mark it down here. Is of course the phone. When I'm doing my work,、um, and if I need to do focus on some projects and some meetings and conference stuff and and so on, I always set up my phone on a silent mode. By the way, my phone is silent mode since day one.、Um, I think it's really good because and you, I I also cover the phone so that、I、couldn't see what messaging comes through. There was once、um, I got this. Messenger, so many communications into a group, and I was so distracted when I realized time already flies for like an hour or two, and that was the worst experience ever. So yes, to set up this,、um, avoid the distractions. Please set up your phone in a silent mode when you're doing something really important, and when you have big goals to achieve that day. And the last thing, but not least, is stay stay reminded. Be reminded. What I mean is,、um, you know, when you are very busy on doing something, but sometimes you still have daily things to take care of. Something will happen, and you got the call and stuff, and then you might be distracted and move away from one task to another. And it's great idea if you can set up notes everywhere in the house, such as your fridge, or on your notebook, anywhere that you can see easily to remind you that your daily goal is this or that. That's really helpful because when you really forget something, that can bring you back to on track. And I really hope this video can help you today. And I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Bye.